inner power is a multifaceted force that shapes our approach to life. It's a tangible conviction within us, a state of mind, an emotion that empowers us and propels us forward. Think of it as akin to having good luck or a lucky star. It can lead us to success, fulfillment, and heightened states of awareness. This inner power is readily available within us, like a set of possibilities and a field of consciousness that the warrior can tap into. A warrior, in this context, is someone who makes precise decisions and takes deliberate actions to unlock their inner power, engaging in personal battles to harness this force. These battles are internal, occurring each time we confront challenges that threaten our physical or emotional well-being. As we face these challenges, our state of consciousness expands, opening the door to new levels of awareness. This expansion results in an increase in inner power, preparing us for future battles and allowing us to access even greater levels of inner strength and consciousness. Internal battles can also be framed as stepping out of our comfort zones. It's like putting ourselves to the test, stretching our limits to achieve victory, thereby expanding our very essence our capabilities, knowledge, and state of consciousness. When we find ourselves in this new state, often we may not even be aware that we have gained power. It is as if the power is quietly there, unobserved, until the right moment when the person becomes aware of its presence. This newfound power, which was previously unnoticed, emerges naturally and effortlessly, without controlling it much like the concept of prana, chi, or vital force, an influx of energy that flows into us. This inner power can manifest in various forms, including emotional mastery, heightened intelligence, increased physical strength and vitality, heightened concentration, or even latent abilities we never thought we possessed, but are activated as natural talents or sources of motivation. When we are in this state, virtually anything becomes possible. But it is necessary to cultivate and nurture this power so that it gradually becomes a more prominent and integral part of our lives. A person's current inner power is deeply rooted in the consciousness they have developed up to this point in their life, whether consciously or unconsciously. This development begins in childhood as they learn to perceive the world in a particular way effectively setting the template for their self-perception and personal belief system. Then, through their ongoing internal dialogue, they continuously reinforce their view of the world and things from the same perspective, effectively manifesting what they have repetitively told themselves throughout their life. This fixed viewpoint prevents them from seeing the world from any other perspective perpetuating the same patterns of behavior and perceptions. In this stagnant state, inner power remains stagnant as well. Therefore, it becomes imperative to shift the established viewpoint and change one's perspective to harness and expand inner power. Achieving this requires a profound shift that could be described as stopping the world. This transformation can only occur when the internal dialogue comes to a halt allowing the perception of the world we had constructed to dissolve, revealing the world as it truly exists. In this process, all the qualities and facets of ourselves that had been buried beneath our internal dialogue rise to the surface. This enables us to access our true selves, unveiling who we genuinely are as opposed to who we have convinced ourselves to be. A warrior is not just someone who confronts external challenges. They also can harness their inner power to accomplish their goals. The warrior's skill lies in redirecting their inner power away from their weaknesses and channeling it towards their warrior's purpose. Through mastery of internal dialogue, they skillfully guide their energy towards the positive and beneficial, as opposed to the negative or undesirable aspects of life. This process helps them craft a state of consciousness that favors their objectives, gradually becoming the foundation upon which they fulfill their warrior's purpose. 
this process leads to an increasing sense of perceptual freedom, a capacity to select the states of consciousness they wish to access, and the opportunity to expand them, ultimately enhancing their inner power. The trust held by a warrior is distinct from the trust of the common man. The common man seeks assurance in the eyes of others, yearns for external approval, and labels this as self-confidence. In contrast, the warrior seeks impeccability within themselves, within their own conscience, and characterizes it as humility. A warrior acknowledges their fortune and accepts it with the utmost humility. This acceptance is not a cause for lament, but rather the foundation for their ongoing struggle and challenge. Each warrior has their unique way of envisioning their path. These approaches are diverse and distinct. What unites us, however, is the presence of inner traps that attempt to compel us to abandon our chosen path. The remedy is persistence, even when faced with challenges and setbacks. But to succeed in anything, take it slow, be patient, put in effort, and avoid becoming too obsessed with a particular outcome. Each of us holds a goal, a specific objective in our thoughts. To effectively tap into our inner power, this goal must be a genuine reflection of our true essence. We often spend our lives waiting for something in return, with certain expectations and desires in mind. We make decisions and take actions hoping for a reward, preferably one that is quick and easy. However, this approach doesn't align with inner power. It amounts to surrendering to a goal and subjecting our inner warrior to mental slavery. Applying inner power means taking action, but without fixating on the outcome or the goal. We plan and create, and we carry out our actions without waiting for a specific reward. We do it simply because we love the process toward our goal, cherishing the process of manifestation. It's about moving forward with love for the path and the process itself all while maintaining a sense of detachment from or fixation on the end goal. The way to use inner power effectively is to focus on the present moment and the process, not just the end goal. A warrior's commitment is strong, but not driven by obsession or stress. Otherwise, we may reach our goal, but harm ourselves physically and mentally. A warrior acts for the sake of taking action without expecting immediate rewards. Through this process, they gain freedom, the freedom to act according to their own principles, make choices, and access their chosen state of consciousness. The warrior maintains a profound connection with their inner self, a connection that can be described as spiritual, and they act in alignment with it. Spontaneity is a natural trait of the being, characteristic of both the warrior and the soul. This spontaneity arises from the innate freedom they possess. They are not bound by enslavement to rigid ideas or stagnation. Consequently, stagnation is undesirable because it locks in fixed perspectives, leaving no room to view the world from alternative angles. Freedom is valuable and while it may come at a cost, that cost is not insurmountable. We all encounter similar challenges in life, and the way to overcome them is through persistent warrior-like action, marked by impeccability and determination. The rest, the knowledge and power, emerge naturally from within oneself. Those with knowledge and power, the men of wisdom, possess both qualities, but interestingly, they cannot explain precisely how they acquired them. Initially, it may appear that they lack these attributes, as they don't manifest immediately, even though they accumulate gradually. They simply continue to act, and then, at a certain point, everything changes. Their inner power becomes evident, and their perspective shifts. A warrior begins their journey with the understanding that their inner balance is disrupted. Through control and knowledge, approached without regret or haste, they work diligently to restore that balance. 
perhaps the most crucial quality of a warrior, is the awareness that one day they will depart from this world, acknowledging the finite nature of their time on earth. They accept this inevitability with dignity, transforming it into their central driving force and primary source of inner strength. By confronting the void that comes with the end of existence and gazing into it, a warrior undergoes a profound shift in perspective, altering their established viewpoint and state of consciousness. They transition to a new dimension where the trivialities of daily life lose significance. Fear transforms into a hunger for living and worldly matters appear vague and less essential. The aspects of our being that were hidden beneath mental dust begin to shake off their obscurity and resurface, shining brightly and regaining the importance they once held. Life itself takes on new meaning and the battles of the warrior acquire the significance they should have always possessed. Everything we do and everything we are hinges on our inner power. When we possess an ample supply of it, a single word spoken to us has the potential to alter the trajectory of our lives. However, when our inner power is lacking, even the most profound wisdom shared with us may hold little significance. The warrior values action over words, embracing a new perspective on the world where speaking holds less significance, and actions are what truly matter. Words have a tendency to make us feel enlightened, but when we turn back to face the world, they often fall short, leaving us to confront the world as we always have, without true enlightenment. We are luminous beings, and the only thing that truly matters is inner power. Liberate your entire self and break free from the constraints that confine it. This is a gradual process. It won't happen overnight. It demands time, effort, patience, and a commitment to impeccability. However, if you possess the spirit of a warrior, you will discover the way. You will exhibit patience, develop new skills, and gradually accumulate more inner power the vital life force that permits you to become the warrior you should always be. Persist in this manner until you have amassed sufficient inner power to assume complete responsibility for your life and transform it into a source of joy, just like a true warrior. Allow the warrior within you to emerge and shine brightly.